These newsletters have over 8 million subscribers. So today I'm going to create a similar one only using AI. From finding new articles, to writing the stories, titles, summaries, to the branding, to editing and everything else. I had an idea. I follow all these daily newsletters like TLDR, The Hustle, The Rundown and The Morning Brew. They're able to send amazing curated content to their huge audiences every day and make tons of money from it. How hard could that really be using AI though? First thing I need is a niche. What will this newsletter be about? I jumped into ChatGPT and asked it to help me come up with a nice description for my newsletter. You can do this for any niche you're interested in. Before I show you the description, I need a brand. I checked out some of these popular newsletters to see what they're doing. The brand is pretty much just a name, a nice logo and some colors. That's easy enough. Let's go back to ChatGPT and ask it to suggest some nice names. I ended up going with these two, Creator Compass and the Realty Lens. Here's what they're about. Now let's go make that logo on Canva. Don't overthink it. Just write a little something and you're good to go. Or ask an AI tool to do it for you. There's, there's a lot of them out there. Now it's time to start creating these newsletters. I decided I want to send the main story of the day with four secondary ones. So I created an account on Feedly to subscribe to a bunch of RSS feeds in order to get all the latest news and articles. If you don't know, RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. Websites on the internet have these RSS feeds, which are kind of like notification systems. When a website you follow with an RSS feed publishes new content, it pretty much sends you a notification to let you know. You can use apps like Feedly called RSS readers to gather all your favorite content from across the internet into a single space. It took me just a few minutes to follow a bunch of news outlets, blogs, and other related newsletters. Now I'm automatically going to receive tons of content related to my niche every day. So we're going to use Zapier to connect all of this to ChatGPT and let it create newsletters for us automatically. Initially, I did a fully 100% automated version where I sent everything to ChatGPT, let it select everything, write, edit, and publish from start to finish. But I had two main issues. I had issues with the API limit rates from OpenAI. Everything worked really well, but it wasn't going as fast as I was hoping, so that was a bit frustrating. I figured out how to solve this with rotating APIs, but I'm lazy. I didn't want to do that right now. I just want to get something out quick. I also wanted to maintain a bit more control at the beginning to make sure that I'm sending out quality content and learning from the process. So instead, I want to invest between 10 to 15 minutes per day maximum to select the articles myself, which is the first step, and to put together the actual design of the newsletter, which is the last step. My goal is obviously to fully automate it as fast as possible. So I have three separate workflows in Zapier right now. They only took me maybe an hour to put together. It was pretty simple. Here's how they look like. The first one triggers when I add a new article I like to a board inside Feedly. I then use the parser by Zapier tool to open the article to scrape or copy the whole text. I then paste everything into a spreadsheet in Google Sheet. So I now have a simple spreadsheet with the title of each article saved, the full content, link to the article itself, and the link to the cover image. But do you see these two green columns on the right? If I put an X on either of those, it triggers my second workflow. I like this article titled How Podcast Producers Became Rising Stars in the Creative Economy. I want this to be my main story for tomorrow's email to make it bigger and more exciting. So I'm putting an X here. You can do the same. And now ChatGPT will start writing the story for you. Here's how. The second workflow has been triggered. My content will follow the main story path here and be sent to ChatGPT so I can write my story. Here's the prompt I gave it. Feel free to pause the video and steal it, but you can probably make a much better one to be honest. I've then added two steps to count how many words are in the full article and calculate an estimation of the reading time because why not, you know? The next step is about sending our story back to ChatGPT to ask it to create a nice title. I've pretty much reused the same prompt. So I've got my title, I've got my story, and even the reading time estimation of the article, which I'm sending back into my spreadsheet. This is just because I want to see it and store it somewhere. And I've got a few other automations turning each story into LinkedIn and Instagram content and posting it. But that's a story for another video. Let's talk about the last workflow. It's very similar to what we've just done. Every new story in the spreadsheet is sent to a digest, which which pretty much gathers all the content in order to send it in bulk to the next step. As soon as five stories have been created, they're all sent together to ChatGPT to create a hook, summary, subject line, and preview, as well as a reading time estimation for the whole email. It then sends it back to the spreadsheet, where I can now take two minutes to check the quality and quickly copy paste it into the email template I've created into Flowdesk. I use Flowdesk for this because I'm already paying for it to my business and it, it doesn't charge based on subscribers, which is great. Everything looks good, so I'm scheduling the email to go out tomorrow morning. Please comment below and subscribe to let me know if you want to see a new 
improved and much cleaner version of this automated AI newsletter. I'll definitely make another video in a few weeks to show you a second version of this where I got rid of all the manual tasks and added a couple nice, uh, nice extra things. When it comes to the results, I've just finished this workflow and sent my first email to test it out. Everything has been working super well. I haven't done any marketing yet, so I literally only have two subscribers, which are my girlfriend and I. Feel free to subscribe if you want to check it out, by the way, the links are below. It's now time for me to start seriously promoting this thing. So let's see if I can find an automated way to do that. And maybe, maybe AI can do that for me. Hit that subscribe button to see the results. I'll be back in 30 days with an update on how many subscribers, views, and hopefully how much money we've made from this thing.